If you need to get around in America, there's no better ride than a pickup truck. Think about it. What other vehicle packs so much potential into a single package? Need to rip some sand dunes? No problem. Need to haul extraordinary amounts of cargo? Need to tow 30,000 pounds? Need to crawl up a rock wall? For a truck, it's no problem. Because someday, it's actually possible that you might maybe think about doing one of those things. I mean, you'll at least consider it, so you might as well be prepared. That's why I bought myself the ultimate pickup truck, the Ford Maverick. Sorry, one second. Hey. That's not a truck, buddy. Wh what do you mean it's not a pickup truck? It's not a pickup truck. I'm sorry to tell you, but... It's probably the same length as the Honda Accord. Okay, but does the Accord have a bed or that square thing that you find on the back of trucks? Okay, let me put it to you this way, buddy. There's a Ford Raptor behind me, my own Ford Raptor. It's got a five and a half foot bed. What about yours? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's at least a couple feet. 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated V8. What about yours? Look, I don't want to talk about size, but it's only four cylinders. And I'm the Canadian? Jason. Yep. Nope. I don't need this. I get enough negativity from the comments. I don't need it from my friends too. So maybe it's not a Ford Raptor. And clearly as an automotive YouTuber, I could probably pick a way cooler vehicle with more hype online. But to me, this is one of the coolest automotive products that has come about in the past decade. And I mean that genuinely. We used to have tons of small, practical pickup truck options in the US. Now it's down to just this and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Logically, the hybrid Maverick could easily be the perfect vehicle for the vast majority of people and it starts at $25,000. In the days when, yeah, you can basically spec an F-150 to 90 grand. And if you genuinely don't need all-wheel drive, the front-wheel drive Ford Maverick Hybrid gets extraordinary fuel economy in one of the most practical vehicles you could possibly buy. You have to give Ford credit for creating a practical, fuel-efficient, and in my opinion, great-looking truck all at an affordable starting price. Now, this is not the hybrid. I waited a couple of years before buying a Maverick because I was desperately hoping for either an all-wheel drive hybrid or a plug-in variant, but it doesn't seem we'll get either. So this is the 2.0 liter all-wheel drive Lariat with just about every optional box ticked at a price of about $40,000. Wow, once again, sorry about this. Look who decided to call back. So are you ready to admit it is a truck? What? No. I just wanted to know what tires you're running. Ah, uh, okay, yes, I, I see where this is going. What is the Continental recommended tire for the Ford Maverick? Did I get that right? Ah, well done. I see what you did there. I'd recommend the Continental Cross Contact LX25. Hey, common ground, what do you know? Looks like us truck guys get each other. Jason, Jason. What? Please don't ever say that again. Jacob? He hung up on me. Real talk though, I am stoked to announce today's sponsor, Continental, a company that maybe, just maybe, loves tires as much as I do. And we're going to be working together for 2024 and have some really exciting stuff in the works. This, of course, is the Cross Contact LX25, which is a premium all-season touring tire for crossovers and SUVs. Wait. Wait, and, and trucks, right? It's not just, this isn't, this is not a crossover. It's, it's also for trucks. Anyways, this is an awesome year round tire with excellent wet grip, great tread life, low road noise, and it has wear indicators that disappear as the tread decreases. So you can quickly check if your remaining tread is good for dry, wet, or snow. I've looked at third party test results and it's actually really impressive in the snow, considering this is an all season tire you can run year round and not a dedicated winter tire. Big thanks to Continental, you can find a link in the video description. Okay, and can we just take a moment to appreciate these beefy sidewalls? I love that in 2024, while the majority of car makers are going purely for aesthetics and tiny sidewalls, you can get 17 inch wheels on the Maverick with plenty of sidewall. It's more comfortable, they're less likely to pinch and thus get flats, and you can run into curbs all day long and not worry about messing up your wheels. So thanks Ford. On the subject of wheels, I think they're fine. I think they look nice. But the blue of the truck is actually a little darker than I would have hoped for. They actually dropped the old, brighter blue, and now this is the only blue available. So I kind of feel like I need to get some bronze wheels so that the truck has a bit more pop. Okay, so I feel like there are a few questions that I need to answer. First, what spec Maverick did I choose and why? 
Second, why did I sell the Crosstrek, the greatest vehicle of all time, for this? And third, what are my plans for the truck? So starting off, as mentioned, of the three available trims, XL, XLT, and Lariat, this is the highest trim. The main reasons why you'd want to go with Lariat over the other trims, and I did highly consider the XLT because it seems like the best overall deal for the money, but the Lariat comes with adaptive cruise control. You can only get that on this trim. It comes with a much better sound system, so I was excited about that and it has a cooler interior. And I like cloth seats, I have no problem with the XLT's interior, but I really like the brown and blue color scheme used inside. It's quite a good look in my opinion, and it's a super functional interior. Spacious cup holders, plenty of storage options, wireless phone charging, you've got Apple CarPlay, first vehicle I've owned with CarPlay, how exciting, and the first time I've ever had a heated steering wheel. Now I realize my physique is not the norm, lean and lanky. The problem is, blood never makes it to my fingertips, so my hands are always cold, especially in the winter. So I am particularly excited about having a heated steering wheel. And speaking of wheels, don't look at this one. I am embarrassed to admit I have purchased my first automatic transmission vehicle. Look, if Ford had offered a manual in the Maverick, I would have bought the truck the day it came out. They didn't. Instead, it has this wheel. Yes, I feel shame. I wouldn't even say it's a particularly great automatic transmission. It's an 8-speed. It's fine. It's fine. But look what we have here, an abundance of actual buttons for climate control. Really easy to select where the air flows, dual zone capability, and you can use auto climate control at various levels. I love the ease of use of the climate controls here. As far as interior space, I have the front seat adjusted to my driving position. I'm a little over 6'1", and if I go to the back, Sure, it's not super spacious back here, but I still have room in front of my knees, plenty of room there, and plenty of headroom as well. So overall, considering how small of a truck this is, it's fairly spacious in the interior. The rear seats also fold up, and there's a clever storage compartment underneath. Moving to the front, I tend to do quite a bit of driving in the mountains in the winter, so I wanted all-wheel drive, and that means the 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder. 250 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque. That means it's going to be way faster than my old Crosstrek, because everything is faster than my old Crosstrek. But actually, there's another vehicle you might be surprised that it's significantly quicker than. So I met up with the straight pipes for a simple game of match the truck to the 0-60 to 60 time, but Jacob figured out what was going on pretty quickly. Gotta say though, I'm impressed with the whiteboard's build quality. And yeah, the 2.0 liter Ford Maverick is quicker to 60 and quicker in the quarter mile versus a 6.2 liter Ford Raptor. Now, at the back of the truck, okay, look, I know what you're thinking. Jason, you don't need a truck for just a single bag of mulch. Well, it's not just one bag, it's three. Now show me an SUV that can fit that in the back. Which leads us to two very important packages optioned on this truck, 4K tow package and the FX4 off-road package. And you're thinking, wait a minute, FX4 package comes with a sticker on the side of the truck. Well, you're right, but I had that sticker removed when I had PPF installed because I think it looks much cleaner without. Yes, I had the whole truck covered in Expel Ultimate Plus 10 paint protective film, so it's ready for the adventures ahead without worrying about scraping up the paint or getting rock chips. I've used Expel on my S2000, my other S2000, my Crosstrek, and my Model 3. And five years after it has been installed on my Tesla, it is still incredible how well it has held up and how easy it still is to clean. I love this stuff. So a big thanks to Expel for helping out with the install on the Maverick, as well as Elite Window Tinting in Beaverton, Oregon. It was immediately obvious these folks really take pride in the work they do and take a ton of care with the installs. With the PPF, window tint, and ceramic coating, there is such a beautiful glossy pop to this very real truck guys, truck sized truck. So a huge thank you to the folks at Elite for doing such an incredible job on the Maverick. I'm feeling as confident as ever. Or at least I was. 
So with the 4K Toe and the FX4 packages, honestly for the price, you get a lot of added features. It's certainly way cheaper than if you were to try to make these modifications yourself. So in my opinion, you might as well check the boxes. Most notably with 4K Toe, you double the standard Mavericks Toe rating to 4,000 pounds. You get the brake controller and both 4-pin and 7-pin connectors with the trailer hitch receiver, and better cooling for both your engine and transmission, and a slightly higher final drive ratio. Now, with the FX4 package, you get unique wheels, drive modes, hill descent control, skid plates, and a performance suspension. It's worth mentioning that if you do get the tremor, which would further improve off-road capability, your max tow rating is just 2,000 pounds. So for me, the Lariat 4K tow made more sense. All right, so it's not that big of a bed at just four and a half feet long, but there are some really clever features. I got the optional tri-fold topper, which keeps everything secure, and if you're hauling larger loads, you can fold it up and secure it in place against the rear window, so you still have full use of the bed. And if you need to haul long, awkward shapes, well, you have several options. Of course, tailgate down is one option. You can also raise the tailgate slightly and lock it in at an angle. Or you can use a bed extender and not worry about your stuff falling out. You've also got these sliding tie downs so you can adjust them for whatever loads you're carrying. There's good lighting for the bed, there's a 400 watt outlet, and a nice little storage compartment. So while it is small, it is well thought out and super functional. And underneath, my oh my, what is that? A full size spare? Yes indeed, that is more spare tire than a Tesla Cybertruck comes with and without taking up any bed space. Okay, so you get it. I think the Ford Maverick is super cool, but why would I sell my Crosstrek, perhaps the greatest vehicle of all time, and with a manual transmission, for this? Well, I'll be honest, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I probably wouldn't. I realize an eight-year-old Crosstrek probably isn't the sexiest thing to talk about on the internet, so don't worry, I won't anymore. I definitely still will. But they say as consumers, you should vote with your wallet. So consider this to be my vote for what I truly believe to be one of the best vehicles on the market today. Again, if you don't need all wheel drive or the higher tow rating, the hybrid really is an incredible do everything machine. Okay, like almost everything. Okay, so what plans do I have for the truck? Well, this is really just the machine that is going to take over for my Crosstrek for adventure purposes. Long distance driving, remote destinations, and finally having a bed for home projects is also really exciting. Much like my Crosstrek, it will likely remain mostly stock and serve as a reliable do-anything vehicle. Okay, and I also must admit I'm pretty excited about just how many tires I can fit in the bed of this truck, as someone who definitely doesn't have a problem. It's not a problem. So again, a big thank you to Continental for feeding my addiction. I'll be testing out these cross contacts in all kinds of conditions. You can find product links in the video description. And of course, thanks to the wonderful folks at Elite Window Tinting. The Maverick is looking absolutely stunning. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. It's definitely a truck.